So it's really important to note here, folks, that officials tell 11 Alive that they're continuing to survey the damage in the area and the estimated cost of damage could increase. Federal help may not come for a while, but that doesn't mean neighbors can't lend a helping hand. 11 Alive's Harris Belger spent the day with an organization reaching out to residents to help. For many in Troop County, recovery from the tornado has only just begun and basic essentials are still needed. Smaller organizations are stepping in to help. A lot of these people lost everything. John Dean spent the last two days a mile up the road from where a tornado ripped through West Point, Georgia. So this is going to be more or less a supply area, a, a, a warehouse, a marshalling area, if you would. He's working with the other members of Reed's Chapel Baptist Church to collect donations for those impacted. Bath items, toilet tissue, paper towel. Uh, we could use tarps and rope. As the donations roll in, he and the other volunteers count and sort what's in stock. And they're not the only ones lending a hand. Brought some things, some cleaning supplies. Esleen Shockley spent today visiting homes in West Point. Her organization, Caring for Others, is collecting donations and dropping them off at people's front doors. We brought shovels, we bought rakes. Like Dean, she knows the road to recovery will be long, but she hopes these items will make an impact. So in a time like this, we have to care for others. Because I care, you care, and we all should care together. I'll have more information on the donations that are needed and how you can help available online. In Troop County, I'm Kara Spelger, 11 Alive News. And if you'd like to help those in need in Troop County, emergency management officials tell us in just the last hour here that the Salvation Army has now opened a site for donations in the 7900 block of West Point Road in West Point. That information's on your screen. You can go to that same address if you're in need of relief efforts. We're told the station will be open until Thursday, March 30th, and more distribution sites will be announced tomorrow.